We're joined now by senior writer for ESPN.com, Adam Rittenberg. And Adam, obviously you were there. You listened to the press conference. What's your initial takeaway? Well, Wendy, this was never going to be a press conference that offered a lot of specifics. You know, there's going to be a scheduling agreement in place, but with so many contracts in, in place and, and games scheduled out, you weren't going to get a lot of those parameters just yet. You know, this was done mainly because these leagues and these commissioners feel that college athletics is under siege, to, so to speak, and they believe by aligning around common values in sort of these abstract areas that they'll ultimately be stronger going forward. But this is always going to be a wait-and-see type thing as Pac-12 commissioner George Klyovkov said of his parents ultimately it's what you do not what you say so I don't know how much they could have said today barring some type of agreement that they would promise not to poach one another's members that would really be uh, full of substance so this is much more about the future much more about these abstract ideas in these leagues you did, though, have the opportunity to ask the commissioners if this was in reaction, of course, to the news that Texas and Oklahoma will join the SEC. Here's what Commissioner Kevin Warren had to say. I think what that did is that that allowed all of us in college athletics to, to make you maybe take a step back and take a step forward to really start evaluating what will the next 1, 3, 5, 7, 10, 15 years look like in college athletics. So I wouldn't say this is a reaction to... Texas and Oklahoma joining the SEC, but I think uh, uh, to 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 be totally candid is that you have to evaluate, you know, what's going on in the landscape of college athletics. I don't know, Adam, if the if the why matters all that much, but are you satisfied with with the answer to that question? Well, I think it's certainly one of the factors that drove this alliance to happen, Wendy. And I think what ACC Commissioner Jim Phillips you know, said a little bit after that is telling. He said, listen, normally when one realignment move happens, many others soon follow. And we believe that's not the path that we want to have going forward. We believe we're stronger together. And so this is, I think, looked at by these three leagues as an alternative to realignment. The concern, I think, or the cynicism from outside will say, why didn't you guys just sign a contract saying that? They, they didn't feel like they had to. They said that the handshake agreements and looking each other in the eye and the trust that they formed over the past few weeks is strong enough. And again, only time will tell because uh, this is a very dynamic environment and certainly what the SEC did got everyone's attention around the sport. And certainly worth noting again that at least right now this alliance is a gentleman's agreement, if you will. Adam, uh, a lot to watch and we will certainly be doing that. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.